Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here, isn't it? Well, how was your Valentine's weekend? I hope you had a wonderful time, no matter where you were. It could be with a friend, family, lover, husband, wife, or you just by yourself. It all depends what you did to pamper yourself and be kind to you. Today's topic is going to be quite different. Um, I was talking to someone uh, and they were uh, literally in a stress mode and this became the topic. And within one session, she found relief. So. What am I going to be talking about? It's called IBS. And for those of you who are surprised talking about this, it's not something funny, which is irritable bowel syndrome. It's not funny for those who go through it. Hi, Sada John, how are you? So what is IBS? Irritable bowel syndrome is how our gut functions and um, it is we can go to the bathroom and there's two ways one is because it's so tight and strong there's hardly um it's hard to go and having a difficulty and for those who push a lot they usually get uh, a lot of um uh, polyps and everything around the gut area, the anus area, and there are those who constantly have a run. Now, I've been treating IBS through hypnosis for such a long time, and it's something that most people will not be talking about. They'll say, I have a stomach ache. They'll say that I am bloated, but talking about it there is a whole different function. It's all about gut. And we know that our mind, our thoughts, our body, everything is, is connected to our nervous system. And when we think about it, our body responds. Thus, yes, it can be food, Yes, it can be a lot of medical things that is happening. Uh, but once the medical, the Western medicine, the medical aspects are gone, I have a whole different version and thought process about IBS. So there is a whole intake about IBS. And if you have gone through it, <clears throat> excuse me, I want you to think about it. There's two ways, right? So if it is so hard that you can't go for a day, two days, because the norm, as uh, doctors say, is once a day or twice a day, that you need to empty the bowel and everything you eat, it's like releasing it, dumping it, right? So when you, we think about it, if it is hard for one day, two days, three days, then it's also uh, uh, affecting your entire stomach, your gut, your digestive tract, everything is being hard and we're just suppressing a lot of food there. And it's not having its direct digestive tracts are not working. Maybe it is something medical that the tracks are, the valves are not opening, just like a machine, right? But what if it is running and it's constantly someone has the runs? Again, it can be food. It can be a lot of medical things. But when everything has been diagnosed and they can't find anything, even the psychology department, the gastro, uh, and gastro uh, department in Chicago, in John Hopkins, a lot of them talk about this. 
it is psychosomatic. So what affects our gut? Stress. Stress is the number one culprit that affects our gut. And as you know, they say your gut is your second brain. So whenever we think something and we react to whatever is happening, it can be stress, it can be love, it can be things that make you nervous, it can be something that when you are under a lot of pressure, you hold, you hold going to the bathroom for urinary, you hold for going to the bathroom for the number two. But no matter what happens, it's like you hold on tight. Now, if this has become a part of your daily system, I even had a friend that she only went once every three days and it's not norm, but the body gets to have that as a habit. Now, thinking back, a lot of people are saying that this happens for the elderly or the adults, but there is a lot of children a lot of children that go through IBS and it's either way. What I like to call it, it's not only irritable bowel syndrome, but there is a lot of bullshit we hold on to or life is running out of you and you have no control or just the opposite. You're holding on and trying to control so much that it's affecting your body. I know, it's a different way of thinking. And what if, if you are suffering to IBS? Because the medicines that there are, they give the medicines for IBS and it's only for six months. After six months, there is no medication that has been given to patients with IBS syndrome. It's also, yes, you can use all kinds of laxative and everything else, but then that's where the nervous system and the body, all the muscles begin to feel, okay, this is the way it is. And that is, again, a whole different connotation of its own because we are training the body that unless there is a laxative, I can't go. What if we retrain, retrain by our mind? Because you can Google, you can search, and you will see that hypnosis is one of the most effective ways to treat IBS. But what is it that we are treating? Not IBS itself, but through guided visualizations and suggestions, we are treating the gut system and you it's like because um, the brain is like it misfires it and the body interprets the normal gut sensations as pain through the power of hypnosis and the suggestions that we do it's like the brain gut connection it we speak to the gut we speak to the nerves and the valves. We speak to how the entire tube and the panel and the entire plumbing happens that once you eat, after the digestion, after everything is going in its place, now it's getting ready to dump. Even the visualization of the entire thing. I know it sounds funny, but it is not funny if you are going through it. So this entire thing, it acts on the central nervous system to reduce the sensitivity of the nerves in the gut. And taking those suggestions, it's like with your mind, commanding the process to happen. Now, it can also, it teaches the gut to be less sensitive and reactive to strong emotions and changes. So when something is emotionally affecting you, when there is a stress trigger, that trigger makes you go like this. And when you become so stressed, 
And when your entire body crunches, it's as if I'm not going to release, I'm not going to go, or just vice versa, it goes. And there is no control. Through hypnosis, you get to have more control over your body and find the culprit, the trigger on the stressors. So it becomes this gastrointestinal behavior, health and psychology, even in Northwestern medicine in Chicago, they talk about hypnosis and the effects of hypnosis and hypnotherapy for IBS. And it keeps people with IBS from reaching that negative, that negativity to the symptoms and the triggers that causes IBS. And I was thinking about my talk today and I said, is this a talk that would be beneficial? Children go through IBS. Even children that I have treated who have bedwetting after the age of seven, eight, I even treated a young boy at the age of nine who was bedwetting. And every night it would happen. And they had tried everything, everything possible. Now, we only did two to three sessions, if I am um, correct. And in that three sessions, not only I raised his self-esteem, to also remind him he is a grown boy, that grown boys do not wet their bed. And for him to become so powerful that he can command his body not to go at night. And if he felt the pressure, it was okay for him to get up and go to the bathroom. You see, the whole thing was he was afraid of the dark. Once I treated the dark, his fear of the dark, actually, he could go to the bathroom on his own at night to a point that for six hours he could sleep. And that is the beauty of hypnosis. The suggestions, once the conscious mind agrees to it, and the hypnotic suggestions are accepted by the subconscious mind. It's like talking to the gut. All the nervous system, our stomach is our core. Understanding why your core, if you cannot digest food, if it is acidic, and it just kicks back and you feel sick or acidic, that's one. The gut also responds to things that are affecting you emotionally. Thus, what are emotions? Things that you feel, right? Things that you feel that affect you from the outside and you react to it. So by the time you react to things, that means you have already, the triggers have already pushed. And it's only energy. Our emotions respond to the energies. And it can be good and it can be bad. Why is it that we get all kinds of problems at home or at work? And the moment we go on vacation or take some time off, it's like the body relaxes, the body is not on pressure, the body is enjoying in the sun or playing. It's because the stress factors that are outside of your body are not pushing the buttons. So through hypnosis and hypnotherapy, we find out what the buttons are. What are the triggers that are affecting your nervous system? 
You see, even when I work with my clients for weight loss, I always say it's not what you eat, but what's eating at you. And what's eating at you can be triggers. Triggers like expectations at home, yelling, how you eat, where you eat, when you are eating, is there arguments? Is there fighting? Are you under scrutiny about what you eat? You're under stress to perform. You're walking on eggshells. Believe it or not, they affect you even when you don't recognize it. So being kinder to your body, here's something you can do even without going to a therapist or a hypnotherapist, if that's not what you want, you can do something on your own. Take few moments. Take few moments of me time, right? Time out. Go somewhere that you feel good about yourself. It can be back uh, backyard. It can be in the comfort of your home, if you have a man cave, if you have a she shed, or, you know, if your bathroom is the only place you can go, people read there, people uh, talk to people, people <laughs> sit over there and play games. You know, it's like bathroom can also be your sanctuary. The next time I'm, I'm gonna make this it's not funny, but if you think about it, you can even turn around and say, I release all the bullshit. Really, because that's what it is. Because outside of the bullshit, your body will function exactly what it's supposed to do. It's a machine. You eat, there is the digestive tract, everything gets placed in its, it's like this Pac-Man, it goes all in the right places, to the gut, through the intestines, and then it comes out through this tube or this tube. That's it. There is nowhere else. It is exactly how the body functions, just like a machine. It is a machine. Your body is there to protect you. The body is there to shield you. The body is there to do exactly what it is called to do. And the only time it goes off is because something is affecting it. So when you feel pain, it's like throbbing and letting you know, take care of me, pay attention to me. So IBS in a way is what is what is it in your life that you have no control over that your gut is running that every time you eat something nothing sticks and it just goes what else in your life is in shambles that it's constantly going what is it that you think and you feel i cannot control And the same is the opposite. What is it that it's so hard? Maybe you're hard on yourself. Maybe someone else is hard on you. Maybe you still are hard on yourself because of other people's expectations. Release. I release the bullshit. That's what BS is. Think of it. Not only it's a bullshit, but it's also a belief system that you cannot. There is a saying that if you think you can, you are right. If you believe you can't, you are correct. So it's up to you. What is it that you can? What is it that you can't? It's your choice. 
So when you take this time for yourself, take a piece of paper and a pen and write all the things in your life. Maybe go back a day, a week, a month, few months, years. How long have you had this situation? And if you can pinpoint when it started, maybe from the time that you were a teenager, maybe from the time that you were a child. And if it was through your childhood, because it cannot be always, you were not born with this. Go back to your childhood and think about the times that it was either this or that. What was the situation at home? What were the triggers at home? What made you nervous that you would cringe, that you would cocoon, you would shudder? It affected your gut. It affected your nervous system. It affected the way you ate and you digested. And if at that very moment, once you write everything, you will recognize a pattern. You will recognize certain triggers, like light bulbs. And believe it or not, that recognition on its own is going to be the beginning of your healing. And when you have a moment to yourself, you can just sit somewhere, place your hand on your stomach. And just breathe. And if, it, if you can do this, it's just like cradling. Because that's what happens when we have a stomach pain, we just cradle ourselves. We hug ourselves right it's called i love me and place your hand this hand that is all energy and love and heat and place it on your stomach you can even go round and about round and about the same way as mothers do it for a child and just go in a circle lovingly. And when you do that, imagine this warmth, this heat, as if a heat pack on your tummy. And just say, thank you. I release all the bullshit. I release all the tension. And I give myself permission to digest life. I give myself permission to digest food easily, effortlessly. I have the power to be in control of my life. I am in control of my body. I I'm in control of myself. Every day in every way, I appreciate every part of me and my body. I thank my body for safeguarding me, shielding me, protecting me, and responding for me. Today, I am aware. Today, I am in command of what I eat. What about my life and the foods I eat, I digest. I choose health and vitality. I choose kindness. And anything that goes in my body, 
everything that goes in my body, no matter how you take it, receive it in your body. May you receive it with kindness and loving energy and by choice, your choice. And release any and all negativity, harshness, and love yourself with more tenderness. And go play. Allow your gut, allow your mind to be more open to play and have fun. Think it and you will. Appreciate yourself. You see, a lot of people talk about self-care. This is one self-care. And no matter what you do, even if it is positive, negative, when you're doing it, when you're eating and you think or someone told you you are overeating, be cognizant of why, your why, not someone else's why, not because it's wrong according to them, but yours. When you stuff yourself, when you overeat and you feel as if, oh my God, I have no room. And why did I do this to myself? That's the wrong one because that's your self-punishment. So if you become kinder and leave the last bite or eat only one half, and then you can eat the rest because it's all yours. You don't have to hoard it. You don't have to shove it in. And to punish your gut, to punish your body, to punish yourself, just because you need to put it all in. Moderation, it's all yours. Eat accordingly, eat small bites, eat lovingly and kindly, and you will see your gut, your body will begin to work with you. And digest not only food more properly, but your life will become. Do you hear my gut talking? It's like, by the way, you will see this. You will recognize that the more you are connect to, connected to your body and have this incredible, when you become in tune with your body, your body will start gurgling. Your stomach will start gurgling. It's like, it's like, yes, 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 talking to you. It starts talking to you and gurgle and making sounds. It's as if responding to your loving kindness. So self-care can start with self-kindness. Not everyone knows how to love themselves, but we know how to be kinder to ourselves. So starting today, may you be kinder and be your own valentine to your body, to yourself, physically, emotionally, and mentally. This is Lisa. I hope today's session was beneficial to you. You can Google, you can check, you can come to my website, you can learn a lot about, you can even put it in search about IBS and realize that your mind and your gut, your body are so connected. And I can help you through hypnosis and hypnotherapy. You can eliminate those problems and have a healthy, proper bowel uh, movement. And for that, I'd like to gift you. If you want a sense of relaxation, please text RELAX to 818-221-2797. And I'll be more than happy to gift that to you. And by all means, just click, subscribe, share this information if you think someone else needs to hear this. And you can always see the replay of this. And you can even say replay for me to know. If you have any questions, you can respond. And by all means, I always offer you a 30-minute free consultation. 
Let's explore possibilities of how I can help you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. God bless you. And may the universal light surround you. This is Lisa. You're welcome, said Ajahn. Hi, Odile. Bonjour. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.